call him that. Okay, now we're going to ask your okay. question. Go ahead. First of all, Jesus Christ, he was not God. He was son of a God. Who said who, who said anything different? Right. No, you say he was God. No, no, no he was no, no, not no, no, God. No, 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 I said that. He was we're son of the God. I, I, and the I, God I, was not a man. God, nobody know who he was. He came down as a man, in the form of a man. No, you're wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. Okay. You're okay. definitely okay. wrong. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jaja Gahor. Jaja Gahor. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, John, chapter 1, verse all right, all right, 13. All right, all right, all right. Which were born. I'll still be seeing you in the kingdom. John 1, 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of the Most High, even to them that believe on his name. Which now, was, I'm sorry, brother. Now, you got people that read this and talk about, well, if you believe, no, boy. Yeah, if you believe, you're talking. Shut up, man. When he was a Jew or he was a Christian? He was a Jew and a Christian. But the Jews are Christians. So he was flip flop. Like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like John Kerry? John Kerry. And you are a big flipper. Okay, good. I'm a flipper. Oh, no, John. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, okay, John. Okay, okay, John. John. Love it back. Listen, right, go ahead. John 11, 1 and 13. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of the Most High. And the Word was made flesh. Now, you know what? Now, you got white people that have quoted this here scripture, right? And they'll say, anybody that believes you got to believe that he came in the flesh. And he didn't come in this flesh. Give me Caesar. Give me the devil. Bring it on up. Somebody bring it on up. See, you believe in this guy. But it ain't. That's not. Scripture's not talking about this guy right here. That's the devil right there. That's the devil right there. All right? Yes, yes. All right. Come on. Let's go. First, uh, yeah, I know what you're doing. Hey, these, hey, these people crack me up, man. Go ahead. First John 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Right, it means test the spirits. Go ahead. Whether they are of God. Whether they are of God. Go ahead. Because many false prophets. Right, because many false prophets. That's why when we teach these scriptures, you got to go home and you, you're supposed to have a pen and paper and write this down and then go home and read again. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, I don't know. I don't believe with you guys. Let, let me read it for myself. Then you might say, yep, the guys are right. That's what that brother's doing. All right? He already knows that we're telling the truth. But guess what? You're still supposed to write the scriptures down and check it for yourself. All right? And there's a scripture in Romans that said, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. All right? Go ahead. Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know you the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. So that means if he came in the flesh, that means he had to have a certain color. He had to have a certain texture here. He had to be from a particular nation because the Most High set up nations, right? The Most High didn't set, set up the Lord to be a blob, a green blob. Oh, that's the Lord. That's flesh. No. If you believe that he came in flesh, that means he came as a man. He didn't come as an animal. He didn't come as a blood. All right? Right. Go ahead. Uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So you have to believe that the Lord came out of the tribe of Judah. You have to believe that the Lord is an Israelite. So if you believe all that, you have to know that the Lord is a black man. So why are you quoting that scripture in John, the first chapter, but you go to church and you quote that scripture in John 3.16 and then you have a picture of that guy you have a picture of that guy in your church and then you got on your stained glass win window you got angels and they all white and they got blonde hair and blue eyes alright and then you got the devil he's down below in hell as a black man with one hair this, this, is, this is not for you so called white people you come with the same basic scripture Scripture, John 3.16. Now when you read John 3.16, let's go to that, John 3.16. You don't even understand the word world. That's why uh, Carlton uh, Pearson went into the Greek and the Hebrew. That's why you don't know the scriptures, because you don't know how to read Greek or know how to read Hebrew. You're just a bunch of dumbass crackers and a bunch of dumbass niggas 
and just go follow some fucking fool. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's your, that's your rescue right there. That's your knight in shining, shining armor scripture. That's your lifesaver. When you, that's your ace in the hole. All right, that's your lifesaver. All right? That's your uh, uh, emergency break. That's, that's your break and open in case of emergency. Break the glass. Break the glass. Go ahead. It says, for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. You sit on that scripture and you, that, see, I'm saying. I know you bring all kinds of scriptures out on Israel, but, but this right here is a, is a showstopper. So deal with that. That's what you practice say. John 3.16, for God so loved the world. Go ahead. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. Go ahead. That whosoever believeth in him. And when you say, when you read that part, this image coming to your mind with fire in the background. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the monastery the demons. You know? Go ahead. That whosoever believeth in him. And whosoever believeth in him, and this is in your heart, and you have bubble in your head, and bubble in your head. Yeah, for God so loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son, and he is floating in your mind. That whosoever believes in him, and he is floating in your mind, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Go ahead. Go ahead. You better read again, brother. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now let's break this down. Let's go to the. You love this scripture, but you can't break it down. Oh, give me that Proverbs, what is that? Proverbs 4 and 7? Proverbs 4 and 7. See, you like to read this, you like to quote scriptures and read scriptures, but you don't understand the scriptures. Let's read that, brother. Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Right, what is, where do you get the wisdom? You're not going to get the wisdom from the Quran, the glorious Quran. All right, the only thing that's good, the, the, well, the, the Quran is good for some. It's good for a doorstop. <laughs> you know, if your if your if your if your couch, if the leg is one side is higher than the other, take that damn that glorious Quran and put it up put it up under there as a shift. Right, the shift. Shimmy it up. Shimmy it up. All right. If you got if you hey if you got to go in the bathroom, you know how you run that toilet paper. Well, if there's a Quran up in there, you can take this page and wipe your ass with it. <laughs> That's the only thing the Quran is good for. Right. That's right. That's right. So what do you believe in? I believe in the Bible, man. What do you believe in the Quran? Yeah, I believe in Jesus Christ. Oh, you believe in Jesus Christ? What color is it? What? Well, see, see. No, I'm not oh, you're not going to tell me. You're not going to tell me. Uh, what? You're not going to tell me what color Jesus Christ is. Okay, what well, you got? But didn't he come down as a man? There they go. There they go. Means God is love will love all people. There's no difference. Oh, no, 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 I don't know where you got there. What's the difference between me and you? I don't know. I don't know where you got there. I don't know where you got there. I don't know where you got there. You go rambling. You go rambling. There you go. There you go rambling. I'm renting. I'm renting. There you go rambling. Rambling. There you go. There you go foaming at the mouth. All right. Yeah, because you don't know. That's why you don't know, man. Uh, right, let's go back. I have Proverbs 4 and 7. I have a friend that's good friend. Wisdom is the principal thing. See, he's running his damn mouth. That's why he can't learn nothing. Because he thinks he knows. I'm from Africa. I'm from Africa. What was that? Oh, oh, but you know what? What, what was Africa what? named after? Africa what? Africa was named after who? What do you mean the name of Africa was named after who? You were born there. You should know the history of Africa. I know the history of America. I was born here. Okay. I know America was named I mean, after Africa. Africa. What does the word Africa mean? What does the word Africa mean? What does the word, does the word and Jesus Christ mean? is not white. He's not white. He's born. He was born what in color? Asia. What color? So what, color? What? what color is Jesus Christ? Say I think I think it was the same. I think. Our, yes. It's the same color like I do. Because it's not it's not white. Get down there, white color is Jesus, man. Out of intercourse. Get down there, get down there. Like oh, Jesus Christ. Now, now, look, this gentleman right here. Turn around. You see these dark brothers here? That's what Christ huh? looked like. That's the color, the color that the Lord looked like.